Hello YouTube, my name is Josh and I want to welcome you to our channel. In today's video, we're taking a look at Rainway. They just released their Octane update a few days ago and there's a lot of new features to explore. In this video, we're going to take a look at two of those features. The first one is the ability to use Rainway with a cloud gaming server, so we're going to test it with Paperspace. The second feature in today's video is the ability to use Rainway with Firefox. So in the past, you had to use Google Chrome to stream through Rainway. Today, with the update, you should be able to do it with Firefox, so we're going to explore that feature as well. Before you can use Rainway with Paperspace, you do need to make a few adjustments, so we're going to go over those first, and then I'll show a little bit of gameplay. See a screen just like the one that I'm on right now, and you'll see your computer's listed, so we're going to make a little edit to our main computer, so go ahead and select yours and then take a look at the section that's dedicated to the public IP. You'll notice that mine shows that I've already assigned a public IP, but you guys will see a button that allows you to add a public IP to your server. Now be aware that when you do this, it is an extra $3 per month fee, but it is required if you want to use Rainway with Paperspace. As soon as your public IP is active, go ahead and open up your cloud server. Once you're at your cloud desktop, there's one more adjustment that needs to be made before you're ready to use Rainway. Go ahead and right click on your network icon and then open the network and sharing center. From here, click change adapter settings, right click on your main adapter and choose properties. From here, you want to scroll down and you're looking for the IPv6 setting. Make sure that it's unchecked and then once it is unchecked, you're welcome to hit OK at the bottom of the window. Now you're ready to start Rainway. I've already got it running on my machine. On yours, you want to start by making sure that it's up to date, so go ahead and check for updates and then open it up when you're ready. Now just to show you that everything's set up, you can see that I've got my NVIDIA encoder selected, it detects my P5000 GPU, it's got my virtual Dell display, and then my Razer surround sound speakers. And then if we go up to the stream tab, you can see that I've set it for highest quality, and then I'm using 60 FPS and I'm not using any sort of scaling at all. We're green, you can see everything's connected. I'm logged into Steam and we're basically ready to go. Now we're ready to test the second feature of the update. We're going to stream through Firefox with Rainway. So go ahead and start by opening Firefox, visit rainway.io, and then click play now to jump into a session. It should pick up your cloud server pretty quickly. You can see that all my games are popping up board to make it go full screen so everything looks really nice. Looks like it's time to test a little bit of Fortnite gameplay and see what it all looks like now. Rainway has improved a lot over the past few months. You can tell from what we showed today that they're really committed to perfecting the product and just getting everything as good as it can be, and they're not done yet. On your screen right now, you'll see a snippet from their blog, and you'll see that they're committing to a lot of additional enhancements and changes in the near future. And there's still more to cover from their Octane update. This video is just the first as we explore some of their new features. Now, if you've had a chance to test Rainway since the Octane update, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know what you think of it in the comments below. Until next time, my name is Josh, and you guys have a good one.